Its topic is string efficiency. Before studying string efficiency, let us know about the voltage distri distribution over suspension insulator string. Consider a suspension insulator. We know that suspension insulator consists of number of porcelain disc connected in series through metallic links. And the conductor is suspended at the bottom end of the string and one end of this string is connected to the cross arm. This is the cross arm. And one end is connected to the cross arm and the other end is connected to the conductor. This disc is placed in between two metallic links. We know that a capacitor consists of two conducting plates separated by an insulator. So here each disc forms a capacitor. So this figure can be drawn like this. That is each disc is connected in between two metallic links. So each disc forms a capacitor C. And this capacitance is called as mutual capacitance. So C is called as mutual capacitance. And if total voltage across this string is V, the voltage distribution across each capacitor will be V by 3. And current from the conductor flows in this direction. But in actual case, there will be shunt capacitance also. That is, in between the metallic link and tower, there forms a capacitor. It is called as shunt capacitance. So this is C1 is the shunt capacitance. Okay, so capacitance between the metal link and the tower is called as shunt capacitance C1. So in actual practice, the voltage across this mutual capacitance C will not be V by 3. The voltage across shunt capacitance C will be different. That is V1, V2, V3 and the total voltage of this string will be V1 plus V2 plus V3. And the charging current also will be different through this mutual capacitance. That is the uh, current from the conductor will be divided into two that is one through the shunt capacitance and the other through the mutual capacitance. The disc nearest to the line conductor will have the maximum voltage. So here V3 is the maximum voltage and the disc nearest to the cross arm will have the least voltage. So here V3 will be greater than V2 which is greater than V1. Now let us study what is string efficiency. Due to the mutual capacitance, the voltage across each disc is different. That is, there is an unequal distribution across various discs. So this unequal potential distribution is undesirable. And this is usually expressed in terms of string efficiency. So string efficiency is the ratio of voltage across the string to the product of number of disc and the voltage across disc nearest to the conductor. So from this figure, what will be string efficiency? So voltage across the string is the total voltage V1 plus V2 plus V3, let it be V. So V divided by number of strings N into, in this case it will be 3. So V divided by 3 into and uh, the voltage of the disc nearest to the conductor here that is V3 so this will be the string efficiency now let us study about the voltage distribution across this each disc so consider the same figure so here C is the mutual capacitance or self capacitance and the capacitance between disc and tower is the shunt capacitance denoted by C1. So C is the mutual capacitance and C1 is the shunt capacitance. So let us take C1 as some fraction K of self capacitance. That is 
let us take c1 by c as k that is the ratio of shunt capacitance to the mutual capacitance is equal to k so what will be c1 c1 will be equal to k into c the voltage across each unit is v1 v2 and v3 so consider three nodes a b and c okay first apply kcl kirchhoff's current law to node a so the current entering to node a is i2 and it gets divided into i1 and small letter i1 so what will be i2 i2 will be equal to capital i1 plus small i1 so i2 is equal to i1 plus i1 so this i2 and i1 are the current flowing through the capacitors that is they are the charging currents so capacitor current you can write it as i is equal to v by xc that is v by 1 by omega c so is equal to v omega c so charging current or capacitor current can be written as v omega c so i is equal to v omega c what will be i2 i2 is the current flowing through this capacitor and that is the second disk so the voltage across the second disk is v2 so i2 will be equal to v2 into omega c equal to i1 i1 their voltage is v1 so v1 into omega c plus small letter i1 this small i1 is flowing through the shunt capacitance so and the voltage across this shunt capacitance will be v1 so these two capacitors has the same voltage and when we consider the second shunt capacitance this capacitance the voltage across this capacitance will be v1 plus v2 so v1 omega c here i1 is v1 omega c1 write c1 in terms of c so we know that c1 by c is equal to k so c1 will be equal to k into c so here omega and c will get cancel then v2 will be equal to v1 into 1 plus k so the voltage across the second disk v2 is equal to v1 into 1 plus k now apply kcl at node b then i3 will be equal to i2 plus small i2 so applying kcl at node b i3 is equal to i2 plus i2 okay i3 is equal to i2 plus i2 what will be i3 i3 will be equal to v3 omega c so v3 omega c is equal to i2 i2 is the current flowing through the second disk so i2 will be equal to v2 into omega c so v2 into omega c plus small letter i2 i2 this small i2 is flowing through the second shunt capacitance c1 so uh, here the voltage will be v1 plus v2 this voltage will be across this c1 so v1 plus v2 into omega c1 here also substitute for c1 as kc so v3 into omega c is equal to v2 omega c plus v1 plus v2 into omega into k into c so cancel out is omega c then v3 will be equal to v2 plus v1 plus v2 into k that is v3 is equal to v2 plus v1 k plus v2 k this v3 is equal to here v2 is common so v2 into 1 plus k plus v1 into k so substitute for v2 we know that v2 is equal to v1 into 1 plus k so substitute 1 in this equation then v3 here will be equal to here we are writing all this voltages in terms of v1 so substitute for v2 
in this equation so v2 will be equal to v1 into 1 plus k into 1 plus k plus v1 k so v3 is equal to v1 into 1 plus k into 1 plus k that is 1 plus 2k plus k square plus v1 into k then we will get it as here there is 2 into v1k plus v1k that is 3v1k so 1 plus 3k plus k square into v1 v1 is common so v3 is 1 plus 3k plus k square into v1 this is the second equation thus we got v2 and v3 so voltage across the string is v v is the sum of voltages across each disk so that is v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 v1 plus v2 is equal to v1 into 1 plus k v1 into 1 plus k plus v3 v3 is this value 1 plus 3k plus k square into v1 so this will be equal to when we add this we will get this as v1 into k square plus 4k plus 3 we got all the equations in terms of v1 so in all these equations there is v1 so we can write this as v1 by 1 is equal to from second equation v1 will, will be equal to v2 by 1 plus k so v2 by 1 plus k equal to from third equation v1 will be equal to v3 by 1 plus 3k plus k square and from this third equation we will get v1 as v divided by k square plus 4k plus 3 so v1 will be equal to v divided by k square plus 4k plus 3 v1 will be equal to v divided by k square plus 4k plus 3 okay then v2 if we get v1 we will get v2 v2 will be equal to we have to write this v1 into 1 plus k and v3 will be equal to 1 plus 3k plus k square into v1 thus we get the equations for voltage across each disk if we get all the values of voltage then we will get string efficiency string efficiency is equal to voltage across string divided by number of strings into voltage across disk nearest to the conductor that is v divided by n into v3 into 100 thank you